Hi, I'm Yvonne from Apex Tube Matching. We're standing outside the doors of Apex Matching, where over 138,000 vacuum tubes are tested and matched each year. Apex Matching offers the very best vacuum tube matching in the world. Let's go inside and see how they do it. The process begins by unwrapping all the vacuum tubes from their original packaging. Today we're going to be testing 2,000 pieces of 6L6 GCJJ. As you can imagine, it takes a long time to unwrap 2,000 vacuum tubes. While Irvin does the unboxing, let's talk about why it's important to match your vacuum tubes. Matched power tubes are a necessity in push-pull tube amp designs. Normal manufacturing variations cause the parameters of each tube to vary somewhat. So if random tubes right off the production line were put into a push-pull amp, the current drawn by each tube, both at idle and under high power drive, could vary from each other as much as 20%. This is why brand matching and date code matching are pointless efforts if the tubes do not match electronically. Precise hardware and software are crucial in the process and Apex offers the highest levels of accuracy using modern technology designed specifically for audio vacuum tubes. Precision matched power tubes are an essential component for optimum performance in push-pull amplifiers, providing lower distortion and higher power and efficiency to better capture the natural tone of your sound. Let's take a closer look at an Apex tester. This is one of several of our testers, and I've loaded it with 14 pieces of 6L6 GCJJs. You can see we have seven on the top and seven on the bottom. When we activate the power on each bank, the warm-up process begins. It is essential to allow vacuum tubes to warm up and stabilize before testing. To establish the tube's required warm-up time, we use this warm-up test. Here you can see seven 6L6 GCJJ tubes warming up. We watch the graph climb, and in this case, at about 30 seconds, the graphs begin to stabilize. As they move across the graph, we see that at about 90 seconds, the tubes are stable. Each tube type and tube brand is analyzed in this manner in order to determine the optimum warm-up time. The warm-up times vary from one to five minutes, with the majority of tubes requiring around two minutes to stabilize. Once the tubes have fully warmed up and stabilized, then the testing can begin. The tubes are now being tested. We can watch the yellow lights flicker. Every time the yellow light flickers, it's taking a test reading. If the test results are within the parameter of the specification for this tube, it will display a green light. If one of the tubes that's being tested falls outside the specifications, it will display a yellow light and it will be excluded from the matching process. If a tube is defective, a red light will display and this tube will also be excluded from the matching process. Here you can see Irvin testing the tubes. Each tube on the tester has a location number of 1 through 14. When the testing is complete, Irvin places the tubes in the matching bin, which is also marked 1 through 14, taking care to place each tube in its corresponding bin location. Each bin, holding 14 tubes, is given a double alphabet designation, such as Alpha Bravo. Once all the tubes have been tested, the software analyzes the test results, sorts the tubes into their match sets, and prints the labels. To perform this analysis, our Apex software uses a complex algorithm which analyzes all the tubes in the batch, pairing them and checking internal tolerances to build the absolute best match set possible. Matching is not performed based on which tubes can be matched together, but instead is based on which tubes should be matched together. While the labels are printing, we tape the empty boxes into their sets. As the empty boxes are being taped into their sets, I'll tell you about the designing of the Apex matching system. We collaborated with John Atwood, a world's authority on vacuum tube technology. John, who holds a master's degree in electrical engineering and computer science, came to us with over 16 years experience working in Silicon Valley for various well-known companies like Tandem Computers, Silicone Compilers, Rambus, Intel, and Apple. In 1993, John tired of the Silicon Valley rat race and stepped off to work as a consultant. John worked with our very own Vice President of Systems Engineering, Dan Moberly, who holds a degree in Computer Systems Engineering and has over 10 years experience working in the industry. Dan designed the matching algorithm and database system, 
the software control interface applications, and the Apex onboard communication system, while John designed and built the circuitry, hardware, and safety mechanisms that allow our Apex system to operate. Together, John, Dan, and our extended support staff formed the perfect team. Here we see the labels for a matched quad. The top label is for the matched set, which is placed on the outside of the taped boxed set. The remaining labels are for the tubes themselves. Each label specifies the plate current, the transconductance, the unique tube ID number, and the bin location where the tube can be found. The unique tube ID is helpful should you need to replace your matched tubes. Rebiasing your amp is not necessary. Simply contact an authorized dealer and let them know the ID number found on your tube. We keep extensive records of the characteristics of each tube so we are able to match it perfectly and avoid the need to replace the entire set. Once all the labels have been printed and cut into their matched sets, the pulling of the matched sets can begin. The caller carefully reads the bin location and calls it out using the military alphabet. He watches carefully as the puller retrieves the tube from the bin location, ensuring that the puller retrieved the correct tube. Let's take a look and watch how they do it. Uh, Kilo Mike 11, India Mike 5, Kilo Whiskey 8, Juliet Foxtrot 14, India Zulu 14, Juliet X-Ray 3, Kilo November 7, Juliet X-Ray 2, Kilo Kilo 13, Kilo Foxtrot 5, Kilo Kilo 13, Juliet Whiskey 2, Kilo Whiskey 11. The puller places the tubes in a finished set tray. Each set tray is divided into six compartments, and the puller places each tube in its corresponding spot. Once all the tubes are in their finished tray, they're ready to be labeled, wrapped, and boxed. Apex tube matching also offers burned-in tubes. This is our burn-in rack. It holds 50 tubes. We have 25 on the top and 25 on the bottom, and two separate power supplies operating both. These tubes have been burning in for two hours. We burn them in for a total of four. The burn-in process maximizes a tube stabilization. These are eight-pin tubes, but we also burn in nine-pin tubes on the other side. Here's a shot of the other side of the burn-in rack. It's loaded with EL84JJ tubes. We turned the lights off so you could see the tubes glow. This is the 2,000 pieces of 6L6GCJJs that we tested in this video. The finest mashed vacuum tubes available are now ready for you, our customer. For the purposes of this video, we tested JJ brand tubes, but we want you to know that we also test a variety of other brands and types. A few of those samples you can see here. Our wide selection of Apex match tubes ensures no matter what your preference, we have what you need to build your tone. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Follow us on social media and be sure to subscribe to our channel for all the new and upcoming videos.